Hello everyone and welcome back to Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga! In the last episode we gathered neon eggs for the sign for the Yoshi Theatre which you can actually barely see from here. But, they, they, crucially, by doing that we got our fourth and final piece of the Bean Star. So this episode uh, we are going to return that and see what our next steps are. But before then, let's head to Gad's Cafe. So, this time we have got we've got two more blends to make, and I believe we can't make both of them with the Woo Beans we gather, no. Uh, we'll still need to get another five, but we'll go for a Woohoo blend for now. I realise I've actually got some blends I haven't actually drunk. I always forget that you actually get the coffee. Anyway, let's brew this and see what we get from it. So, that gets us the Woohoo blend. And the man is here this time. Oh, well, here I am, in the flesh. It's been quite a while since I've seen you all here. Oh, hey, boss. Whoa, your shadow is looking pretty thin there. You haven't been sick, have you? No, oh, no, no, no. I'm just testing my latest invention, a gown that lets anybody become a ghost. By wearing this gown, you can become a ghost anytime, any place, anywhere you want. So you finally become a ghost yourself, eh, boss? Yep, and while I may be a ghost, I can still taste new drinks. <sighs> this is a mysteriously dim, short-lived flavor. It's just the kind of bean juice that'll attract the long-overlooked market of afterlifers. Thanks for that sampling. Here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. You got the cobalt necktie. I thought that was called Colbat uh, when I was a kid for longer than I care to admit. Didn't know what cobalt was, surprisingly. Bye bye. Hee! <laughs> uh, in case anyone was wondering, by the way, I don't know if I ever actually pointed this out. Um, the. Gad things are, it doesn't matter what you blend, uh, every unique item you blend creates a new Gad item, they always come in the same order, so the second to last one that we got there is always the Cobalt Necktie, um, they always come in the same order no matter what you brew, so you can't get things earlier, it's just, you have to forge through the brewing. Um, let's go shopping first, actually no, we first want to actually return the four shards of the Bean Shard, Bean Shard, Bean Star to the Beanish Royal Family? Well, to Queen Bean essentially. Which I think is this way. Yes, it is. The Bean Star is revived. You got the Bean Star. Hmm. So the Bean Star is finally back to normal. A <laughs> uh, message has arrived from Balletta. I shudder to think. Very good! You fools make fine scavengers! Now I want red and green to bring that bean star to me! The drop point is at the far end of the ocean, now that crypt for cruddy jokes called Joke's End! You can't get to Joke's End by walking on the seafloor, so don't try it, cretins! Come after you learn how to cross the sea surface! And don't lose the bean star on the way, butterfingers! Hmm, but if he, she, uh, it plans to return Pencilless Peach when we give it the bean star, and it can't be planning to use Peach's voice to awaken the Beanstar after all. <laughs> that would seem to be so. Relax, all of you. We can just give the fiend this. Oh, a fake Beanstar, of course. You got a fake Beanstar. Also, please bring along a change of clothes for the princess. I'm sure the Princess Peach likely tried to escape, doing untold damage to her lovely dress. But I just think of it drives me mad. Curse that bowel letter. At last, this old servant can help in some small way. You got Peach's extra dress. <laughs> and to get to Joke's End, you have to no choice but to travel above the ocean waves. Maps if you go to the beach, you'll find a way to get there. <laughs> now, apparently, there was once quite a fine surfing spot at one of the land's beaches. <laughs> Excellent. Then the two of you will execute our daring plan. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. You won our little beanstar wager, so here are your mushroom coins. Nine, 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 nine of them. Oh, yeah. And today's exchange rate, nine, 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 nine mushroom coins comes to ninety-nine bean bean coins. Well, 100 was worth 10 at the beginning. 100 mushroom coins worth 10 BB coins, so my god, while we've been away. While we've been away, what the fuck is happening economically to the Mushroom Kingdom? Because it seems they're in a case of, like, Zimbabwe-level hyperinflation, which is really, really problematic for their economy generally. They must just be printing money at this point, and that's always just a latch-ditch attempt to stave off the worst economic situations. Uh, anyway, with that done, 
We should be able to have a f access to a few more final things here. Uh, we have Queen uh, Beanstar Pants, which temporarily increase defense at the start of battle. Which are exactly the same as what Mario's wearing, but they don't come with his one-off barrier. And it's very high defense for Luigi, but I don't like that loss of BP. Then there's the Queen Bee gene genes that ups defense when affected by a status ailment, which also aren't as good. It is just objectively better for Mario, but I do like his one-time barrier. We might just have to ditch that, though. Yeah, let's let's switch some stuff up a bit. We'll equip that on Mario, and we will equip the Beanstar Pants on Luigi just to have that extra defense and whatnot. Um, his BP goes down, but there we go. Let's see what the offerings are with badges. Powers you up at the start of battle. Hmm. High BP, lower power. You know what? We'll go for that on Mario as well. Because that still has the power up thing anyway. And the brilliant badge strengthens battle initiation attacks. Can't be asked with that. Cool. Uh, with that done... What we need to do now is head over to the beach, as they said. So we'll head all the way east from here, and I'll get some beans along the Oh, actually, let's just go to the information shop, see if there's any uh, records that we can clock in. Oh, here, we have got some. Oh, wow, you have battled 200 times. Oh, you have defeated 400 force. Oh, you have defeated 650 excellent ratings. Oh, you have dodged enemy attacks 400 times. Oh, you have found 50% of the blocks. Oh, ho, ho, that's quite the story you're cooking up. Thanks, friend. Here's your reward. Go on, take it. It's all yours. And we get five one-up supers, a new recording, three super nuts, a gravity shield, and a new recording. Oh, spin me a good yarn when we next meet. Oh, I didn't actually show what the cobalt necktie is. I probably should have done that. Um, we probably want the great force off Mario now because he doesn't have his one-time shield anymore. So, uh, what's a gravity shield? Lowers the damage you receive in heavy G and light DG. That's not great. The cobalt necktie doubles your stash. Really should have applied that before doing all that shopping. It would have been significantly cheaper, but oh well. Stash is nice uh, because it gives you lucky hits as well. Um, so, you know what? We'll keep that, um, that stash on Mario. And yes, we get ahead to the east... Now to the beach, uh, but on the way I'm going to gather some woo beans from various people because I need six to make our final blend and we have, I think, one. Yeah, so I need five more woo beans, so let's roll. So over here at the beach, this is what we're interested in, a surfing spot here. But it has got a golden block between us and it, which means we need to head and get our hammers upgraded. Um, I don't know if I showed off this, I must have got this uh, warp point before. Yeah, that's number eight. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I've got almost all of them. Wonderful. I think it's twelve in total. Can you guess where the final one's going to be? Maybe it's in the in the area of the game we haven't explored yet. Don't know if these guys can possibly drop root woo beans, but no harm in killing them anyway. Oh, they've all lit. Great. Um, so what we need to do is get our hammers upgraded for a second time. So I will see you over at the Hammer Bros Cave, which is just one screen to the left of this one. Hey, look at that. We've got enough beans now. Wonderful. Um, we've also got these to drink. Uh, so we'll give the HP one to Luigi, I think. He's a healthy bro. And then Chococino gives plus two defense, which we'll give also to Luigi. Got one for attack and one for defense. That's the general way that the game kind of wants you to do the bros in terms of the natural uh, abilities it gives to each one. It definitely angles Mario towards attack and Luigi more towards defense, where it gives bonuses on the wheels. But anyway, we've come over here now through a very convoluted route. Um to what will be the Hammer Brothers Cave. I mean, it is the Hammer Brothers Cave, so I don't know what will be there, because it's when we get here. There we go. And if we head down... Oh, I was wondering who that might be, and it turns out to be those Mario Brothers. You guys have the best timing. Why, we just now finished mastering a brand spanking new hammer making technique. Want us to reforge your re reforge your hammers for you? In that case, this will be the debut of our new hammer-making technique. We'll get right to reforging. Here we go! On your toes! <laughs> Ugh, that's some fine work we did. These are definitely the finest hammers available. They're even more powerful than before. You got Ultra Hammers, cross them off the visualizer, leaving just one final thing in the top right visualizer. Um, though there's another couple of things on the below right, middle right visualizer, which we will all cross off this episode. We're getting towards the end, if you couldn't tell. With those hammers, you can break any kind of rock, any kind at all. We've used all of our talents in making these hammers. May they serve you well. 
So yes, we now have the ability with the Ultra Hammers to destroy gold rocks, which brings us to another little area back here. I am Thwomp, and I love a good game. Test your luck for a mere 500 coins. Fuck me, that's quite expensive. Are you guys ready to show me the mightiest swing you've got? Sure. Catch for days. Break any one of these that you like with your hammer. If you're lucky, you'll get yourself one incredible treasure. Yaha! We got it straight on again! This is Secret Scroll Number 2! Mm. Whoa. Okay. You can now use a new bros attack in battle, and that'll be crossed off the screen when I actually show it. Um, but we won't be doing that right away. We've got enough Woo Beans left, so let's head for one final time to the Star Beans Cafe. And let's bring ourselves a Teehee Espresso. Ho ho! So you finally completed the last bean juice concoction missing from our menu! This'll be my final tasting. Oh, pardon my hastiness, but may I have the first sampling? Ooh, since I know this is the last new flavor I will taste, I must say it's the finest yet! Oh, stop exaggerating. Huh, a delicately bitter flavor, but one that makes me crave more! This stuff gives me the energy to push my ghost research into a new dimension! And he gives us the Game Boy Horror SP. Cross that off the visualizer. Since I've now sampled all of the drinks that are to sample, I'll most likely no longer be making any appearances here. But as the owner, I feel I must leave this here in my shop. Disturbing. If you have ever any hardships or any sad days, then you can gaze upon this picture and think of me. There, don't you think it brings a little respect to this shop and makes it slightly less kiddy? <laughs> I think it stinks. <laughs> wow. And that's the last we'll be seeing of Professor Egad. But he's given us the, the Game Boy Horror SP, which is quite an interesting one. I'm going to put on Luigi, uh, which basically... Defeat foes and always get rare items. I believe it's not always, but it massively ups the odds of getting rare drops from item from from people. Unfortunately, it's very handy for getting woo beans out of a lot of things, but you can't get it without having got all of the beans. So there we go. I'm going to head to the pipe shop now, well the pipe house, and I'm going to head to Little Fungi Town and to the fashion shop there, because there might be some new stuff we can pick up before we go on our expedition. Mushroom pants. Coins earned in battle may turn into mushrooms. Not great, um, but an interesting boost to health and BP. Drops Luigi's defense a little bit, but makes his HP and- Oh my god, that boost to BP! Fuck me! Yeah, let's go that. Plus, you know, mushrooms are always handy going for Keely out of battle. I'm actually running a little low on the old cash here. Where these uh, move right after Mario? I don't think that's useful, and they're locked to Luigi, so there we go. Um, I'm gonna sell some of my old shit. I'm getting 22% off because of my stash, though, and selling for 44%, which is pretty sweet. While we're here as well, we're also going to buy some Max Nuts. Both recover all HP. These are super useful. So, I am going to buy as many as I can. I'm an idiot! You can't buy Max Nuts here. I don't know if you can buy Max Nuts anywhere. What you can do here is sell Max Nuts, though, which I definitely just fucking did! I was wondering why it wouldn't let me buy more than one. <sighs> Fucking kill me. That was diabolical. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go to the shop and see if they sell Max Nuts. They won't sell Max Nuts. I don't think anywhere sells Max Nuts, and I just fucking biffed it there. Oh, and there's a boss towards the end of the game in which Max Nuts are super useful. Only Super Nuts here. Well, we would have seen that coming. Uh, one up Supers. Oh, I've got seven of them. That's fine. <sighs> That's depressed me, that has. Like, I can handle when games fuck me over. That's fair enough, you know, sometimes games just do that. Unfortunately here, it's me. I'm the problem. Um, as Taylor Swift once said. <sighs> I'm gonna see if they have them in Beeping Castle Town, but if not, um, I'll see you over by the Eastern Sea. Would you look at this bullshit? They sell max mushrooms, which heals you fully. That's pretty cool. You know, let's buy a couple of them. Making real sure I'm buying them, not selling them there. Sell max syrups. Pretty nice. Recover all brass points. Buy a couple of them. That's pretty nice. Do they sell max nuts, do you reckon? Of course they fucking don't. Uh, they do sell some ultra nuts, which heal both of you by 65, which is not bad. But, you know, when Luigi's got 134 hit points, boy, those, those max nuts would have been, been real handy to have. 
And it's like, it's not worth reloading, because I'd have to reload back to the beginning of this fucking episode, where I've done a lot of stuff. Ugh. Right, over to the sea it is. Drown my sorrows. I know that means drinking, not going into the sea and drowning yourself, but there we go. We can do something interesting now, though. At least I have a max nod. Didn't have a max nod. I'm gonna be on about max nods for, like, the foreseeable future, just so you know. I'm real mad about this. If we talk to this weird, angry dude... Huh? You wanna cross the sea? Why, such a thing is impossible without a surfboard, that is. Say, maybe if you can find something to jam into that hole and something is in green, maybe it'll make some sort of surfboard substitute. Maybe. I don't know where that accent came from, but there we go. Um, yes, indeed, if we dunk Luigi into this slot... Welcome to Surfing Bros. And we could actually fully explore quite a broader area of the kind of Oho Ocean uh, here. This will be much easier to navigate, I'm hoping, um, by, because of the fact that we actually have a map. Oh, that's back on Bean Bean, so that's where we came out with the SS Chocola. Uh, and this is where the SS Chocola sank. Let's grab that again. There's, there's balloons around with all the stuff in them. What I'm looking for is Oho Oasis itself. Well, not actually Oho Oasis. I'm looking for areas like south of Oho Oasis, but... As you can probably see from the map down at the bottom, the Oho Ocean is huge, and navigating it is, frankly, a bit of a balls. Is this Oho Oasis? Oh, this is Guaha Lagoon. I mean, I do want to come there eventually today, but not right away. Um, yeah, that map really does make this actually possible to navigate, because otherwise it was just like, hey, count going three screens across or whatever. But I think it's near here. Uh, oh, this is something I'm looking for. It actually genuinely is something I'm looking for. Uh, I got a couple of things to do out in the ocean, and I can't remember where any of them are, so it's going to be a case of just doing stuff in the order that we find them. As you can see, there's another couple of bits of... Oh, this actually wasn't the bit I was aiming for. There are various bits of the uh, Bean Bean seafloor here that you can only access by getting sucked down whirlpools from the surface. And there's a specific one I want to find, and I think this isn't it. But we will keep exploring this one. This one, I think, connects, yeah, by the looks of it, to Guaha Lagoon. Um, well, that will work, I suppose. I'm avoiding these enemies just because I can't be asked to fight them. There's a lot of chuckle beans around here. Well, I jumped on that guy with Mario, apparently. Fuck it, here's a nice chance at least to show off Cyclone Bros. So, press B when Luigi swings his ha hammer over his head. Mario will become Mini Mario. When Luigi jumps, tap the A button. This will spin Mini Mario around at high speed. Get many consecutive hits for an excellent rating. You can attack enemies several times. So we go B, A, 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 and then we just, it just, just hits. I'm not even going to bother with the demo. Let's just show it on the Mecha Blooper. So we start with B, then A. And now, I believe I can aim this? Yeah, it does just bonk off different enemies like that. And as you can see, it slowly starts doing less and less damage. But it's quite a good one for hitting a broad range of enemies. And the first few hits are pretty powerful. Wellness wear. Mushrooms, hand auras, more mushrooms. That's the game of her SP really firing up there. Um, but yeah, crush that off the visualizer. Now, that is Cyclone Bros. It's a bit silly, um, which makes it a bit different to the other bros moves. But it can be powerful and situationally useful. Anyway, with that done, let's grab ourselves a final chuckle bean. Why am I still getting chuckle beans? I have no idea. Well, I think that, yeah, unearthing chuckle beans might be one of Mr. Records' record things, but... Uh, this is gonna connect me up to Guaha Lagoon, isn't it? But I believe we can connect to the ocean here, um, if I find where I'm looking for. Yeah, it's up here. As I say, I have got business here, but I won't actually be doing that quite yet. For now, I want to be back to sea, so let's dunk Luigi again into surfboard mode. And let's continue to explore Oho Ocean. Ah, there we go. So this is Oho Oasis here, uh, which is good. We want to get there. Well, we don't actually want to get there. We want to go south from here, uh, which then I believe has what we need. Nope. I've been lied to by my own notes. There we go. Whoa. That's a particularly entertaining animation. Should we do the salvage badge? And another music recording. Um, I will go through those at some point, probably at the end of the game, before I do the sub-game of Minion Quest, which is down there. Um, let's see what a salvage badge does. Of course, it causes foes to drop items more often, um, but at the cost of massively tanking, various stats, not worth it. But we have this OHOG here who's purple. Another guy who looks like, just like me runs a little game on the island north of here. I'm just waiting here in earnest. I thought it was north of here. Um, that's what my note said, but I... Didn't trust them for some reason. Well, let's head north of here. Hey, look, there's actually another warp point here. That's this is a new one here, number twelve. Um, I guess there's thirteen in total then. 
Can't think of where else there is other than Joke's End to the north. Um, but nice to have an option for Ho Ocean. This guy is clearly the one we want. I've got a little game going here. Any chance you two might be interested in playing? Do you want to take a shot at the surfing game? Yes, I do. Want to hear the rules? Why not? When you hit the course on the right side of this island, you'll see some Oho balloons floating over the place. You can't miss them. There are 23 balloons in all. Getting real roller coaster balloons vibes from this and sunshine. If you can pop all the balloons and reach the Fire Island within one minute, another guy who looks just like me will give you a great present. If you get them all and reach for the finish quickly, you get an even better present. If you decide to quit midway through, just press start. You got that? Yes, I have. Then good luck out there. So we'll have a few quick cracks at this, because actually, unlike almost every other game we've done in this, um, this doesn't, this isn't just about he-beans. Uh, this is its own thing. Um, so put the speeder on and I'll get as many of these as I can. Well, we got all of them and got there within 40 seconds, which is not bad. Let's see how you did. Can the time elapse is 40 seconds. Wowzer, you are something else, but can you break 38 seconds next time around? Here, here is my present. And he gives us two beans and two shuggle beans. He gives us an array of beans. I'm not going to bother trying again, because mostly he just gives you beans as a reward. I'm going to continue exploring o Oho Ocean, because there's a particular whirlpool I'm after, which wasn't the one we were at earlier. I think this one is north of Oho Ocean. Oho Ocean? Oho Oasis. Well, there's the result of the, of the whirlpool I'm looking for, which is a Monty Mole and a load of stuff on that island. There's the whirlpool that goes to it. There it is. It's on the map. At least the map is, as I say, bloody handy, actually, for making Oho Ocean much more navigable now. So this one down here leads to another couple of chuckle beans. I'm going to cheap cheap that I'm going to dodge, but straight away there is just a pipe here, which we'll take up to the surface. And indeed up here is a Monty Mole. Congratulations! Excellent job making it all the way here. Let me commemorate the moment with this. Take it, please. And he gives us a Mush Badge A. Interesting. There's also a couple of things here. There's another music recording. Oh, shite. Uh, there is an ultra mushroom and a golden mushroom, which is pretty sweet. How do I get out of here, though? Oh, I must be, yeah, be able to actually swim off the bottom and connect to Oho Oasis, maybe? Yeah, this, like, given the logic of it, like, it's quite nice. If you were able to look at it, which you can't on the same map at the same time, Everything on Beam Seafloor Seafloor does actually map to the areas above here, so if you're going south from here, you will tend to end up at Oho Oasis, which is quite nice, so I'm going to follow over here to where I know Oho Oasis is. Now from here, what we can actually do, which we weren't able to do before, is... Oh, first off, I want to check what that mush badge is. Um, I think that's the one that's they've, that used to be broken that now isn't, that gives you damage for extra mushrooms. Yeah, power zero if you've got a lot of mushrooms. Um, but they've massively reduced the multiplier of that, and it's not unlimited. You can't just then buy a shit ton of mushrooms and make yourself functionally immortal, which is a shame. Uh, through here, now now, but now we've got the gold hammer, we have access to another surfing point. So now I'm going to head to Guaha Lagoon, and I will see you at Hermie 3, actually. The boss. Hermie the third, I suppose. I was called Hermie 3, but... And if we talk to him... Don't you have anything better to replace the bean thing with? If you happen to find something in your travels, I really hope you bring it back here. Interesting. So he's looking for something to replace that on his decorations. Uh, and there is an option for that. I'm just going to look at it on the map and actually try and remind myself. Yeah, it's down there in it. Um, so let's head over here. And pretty quickly we will find... Somewhere we couldn't access before because it was behind gold blocks. Uh, well, hey there, fellas. I'm the famous starfish star, Spangle. Um, uh, pleased to meet you. <laughs> oh, now, I tell you, since I first came here 365 days ago, I ain't seen a soul. Y'all are the first folks I've seen. If seen. I've seen. Uh, let me tell you, even a star from way over that big old sea needs a stage to stand on. Ugh, that's right, baby. Now, tell me, fellas, don't you know, y'all know a place that'll suit a shining star like me? Come on, now. Yeah, that's right, a place for the tiny star like me, like the top of a festive tree. Uh, what's that now? You know just the place? Well, hot dog, baby, I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, say, fellas, looks like you got yourself a big old suitcase. How about you let me crash in that thing, baby? You got a spangle? Indeed, we did get a spangle. Um, I think as well, is there a way to connect? Oh, no, there's just various items here. A music tape. There's always a music tape. A music tape. A music tape. 
and a golden mushroom. That's actually not, a, I was genuinely just expecting it to be four music tapes, but there we go. Right, I'll see you back at Hermie. I mean, back at a stage where Spangle could live and play from. Don't you have anything to replace the bean thing with? Did you bring something to trade for the bean thing? We didn't trade, we stole it from him. Technically, we're repaying him. Eh? Hey now, are we there yet? Oh, Nelly, now that's what I call a festive tree. Amazing, I'm heading straight to the top, baby. Woohoo, this is a great baby. I'm a rock in this stage. You guys never fail, other than that time you beat me up. Burned me out my spell. Hermie, look at that, isn't it wondrified? You did it! I suppose I owe you this in return. Take it with you. And he gives us the Soulful Bros badge. You guys never fail. Yeah, the more you see of Hermie, the more you think we really were the baddies in that boss encounter. But there we go. These things are sometimes like this. Anyway, uh, the Soulful Bo Bros badge. Uh, you can only get it at this point. Excellent ratings for Bros attacks. Restore BP. That is really fucking good. Um, is it worth it instead of that Opar badge? Hmm. Because it's quite easy to get excellent on a Bros attack. To the point where I am going to put on Luigi. It'll tank his power a bit, but it'll give him a lot of BP. And I use Luigi's Bros ones more. Because um, Knockback Bros and Thunder Bros are both really powerful. So I think I do use that one probably more than any other. Um, well, that one. Luigi. With that, we are actually done with our various side quests around Oho Ocean. So now we just need to head to Joke's End. Uh, if you, I bring up our map once we're to see... Then you'll see if you look there, Joke's End is right at the top. So, speed on please as I just fly north through Oho Ocean all the way to that- Oh! Um... No, I thought the map had changed, but it hasn't, I'm just stupid. Um... Because it was more filled in, I thought it was like... Arrows and connect- I don't know what I thought. I'm going north to Joke's End. That's what I'm doing. And here we are. Joke's End. I'm not kidding. When I say, Joke's End is the worst dungeon. And I don't just mean the worst dungeon in this game. I genuinely think Joke's End might be one of the worst designed dungeons in a game that has a dungeon thing in it. I'll get into it next episode, but the music alone should be telling you this is going to be awful. Um, I'm planning on hammering through Joke's End in one episode because I really don't want to drag it out for any more than that. Oh, we've got a pipe here which takes us to uh, warping abilities. So next episode we will do, it is by a huge margin the weakest point of this game, but I'll just hammer it out in one uh, episode. Joke's end. Hope you'll join me then. Thank you very much and good day.